Hello guys, today I want to show you a package, not a Laravel package, but PHP package, PHP library for date recursion. What does it mean? For example, you want to get the dates, the upcoming dates for specific rules. For example, every Friday for a month ahead or for a year ahead for recurring calendar events, for example. And this library will allow you to do exactly that, compose or require, and then you do something like this. Specify the first date time, then frequency, count by day Friday, by month day 13, and then generate occurrences, and occurrences become the array of dates. I have tried it out myself, so here in my Tinkerwell it's exactly this. As it often happens for the packages, documentation shows the syntax but doesn't show what is the actual results. So what is behind that print R? Let's take a look. If we just do print R like this, R occurrences like this, and then DD, let's run it. And the result is array of date time objects of PHP date time. It's not carbon. Again, it's not a Laravel package and it's not carbon, it's PHP, so date time object. And to get the real dates from those, one of the ways is to do something like this. In the for each, you specify the format you want, separator. And if we run that, we have this. So from that date, from 1998, February 13th, these are five Friday 13ths ahead. And another example I've tried is generate the Mondays, 100 Mondays ahead. For example, you want the event to be happening every Monday and you want to create those calendar events and you need the dates of those. So 100 frequency weekly by day Monday. And if we comment out this one so it wouldn't show up and we run, these are all the Mondays starting from now, which is currently 20th of February, the day that I'm shooting this video on. And then every Monday ahead until like 2025, so 100 weeks ahead. You can find all the details and all the syntax options in the readme. There's also alternative syntax like this, for example. Also, there's an error exception that I've encountered myself. That's why I need to add this line of code. You can read about that in the specification as well. So I will just briefly scroll through those. But yeah, I will not read you the docs. I will just put the link in the description below. What do you think about this package? Have you used something like that for time periods ahead or have you done something else? For example, if you want to generate events for a year ahead or something, what would be your suggestion? Or do you just use carbon with some for each loop or something? Shoot in the comments below and let's discuss. If you want to find out about more useful packages, Laravel packages, I have a separate list, currently 169 packages on my Laravel daily com in resources packages. So you can browse around, see what's popular. I've picked manually kind of the best packages with at least 100 stars on GitHub and a lot of positive reviews. So you can browse around at laraveldaily.com slash packages. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.